So welcome to Plymouthton on the south coast of the North Island, New Zealand. I've been here quite often and every time I come it's just uh, there's photographs to be made everywhere. We've got these incredible rock formations and they all lead out to that island there. That is Manor Island. It's just a stunning location. As you can see the conditions are less than average but I've made a few shots anyway and then tomorrow morning we'll come down fingers crossed we will uh, smash a few beautiful sunrise shots the sunrise is going to come up over yonder so uh, with a bit of luck it'll cast some beautiful early morning glowing dawn light on Manor Island and that'll be quite nice I'm just going to hang about here again just a little bit just in case we do get a little bit of colour in the sky can't see it to be fair but you never know you never know but what a place what a place look at those rocks man seriously there's a little bit of rain in the air a lot of grey skies a slither and i mean an absolute slither of golden light over there but about 10 minutes away from sunset so who knows who knows we might actually get a little bit of color i'll stick around and see what happens camera of choice is the leica q2 28 millimeter 1.7 lens obviously handheld because uh, i just came out for a walk really no intention of really shooting much because the conditions were crap and they're still crap to be fair but i've got a camera i'm at a cracking location we've got a potential potential of a picture so why wouldn't you link above to one of the videos I shot years ago down at this location and it, oh, I think on that occasion from memory I think I shot it with a Bronica ETRSI 120 medium format film camera And that guys has just kicked off quite beautiful. Look at look at that. Loving it. Hey, what a difference 10 minutes can make. Massive difference. So I popped off a few shots, all handheld, please just punch with them. The place is grayed up, gnarly, not looking flash, a little bit of rain in the air, but over there, oh, just where I want it, beautiful. Sunrise is going to have to go some now to beat this. And just like that, overnight, the rain set in and that wiped out any chance of any colour for sunrise. Now, in the absence of any great sunrise photography, I thought I'd just round out this video by showing you my favourite image from last night's sunset and how I edited it in Lightroom Lightroom Classic Alright Woo! Gonna get wet So, this is my favourite image from the shoot At first sight, it doesn't look like much but at the time of shooting, I underexposed this shot by about a stop and a half just to retain the detail in the highlight of the sun going down The shadow here, I can always bring that up What I normally do is start off with a quick global auto settings that just lifts the shadows and lets me see what I've got to work with. Then I'm going to open up the shadows even more. I'm going to drop the highlights right down. And that is looking pretty good already. I'm going to add a mask to work on the sky a little bit. 
And what we're going to do here is just drop the sky down a little bit, increase the temperature just a little bit, just a touch, just to add a little bit of extra, extra warmth. I'm going to go down to clarity, just to put a little bit of clarity in the sky. Likewise, a little bit of dehaze, even add a little bit of overall saturation. Okay, that's looking okay. So I'll come out of there. I'm going to put a linear mask on the foreground. So I'll just raise that up a little bit. I just want to bring some more detail into the foreground. So I'll just lift the overall exposure one stop, add a little bit of contrast, and that will do for that. So we'll come out of that mask. Next thing I'm going to do is come down to the tone curve. For tone curve, I always like to use these presets. So I just come down here, click on the preset and add a strong contrast. And that just, oh, that just makes everything pop. I really do like a lot of contrast and, that's, <laughs> and that has given me plenty of contrast. The very last thing I'm going to do is come down to vignette and just add a slight vignette to darken up the corners. And, and guys, that's it. That is it. That is as much as I'm going to do with that photograph. We'll just take the, just turn the lights off and there you go. That, that's it. That is as technical as my editing ever gets. All right, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you like the photograph. And until next time, have a great week, wherever you are. And I'll catch you on the next episode.